You know, uh, because <clears throat> of the cool breezes off the off the bay, they're able to grow these great uh, Pinot Noir grapes there. You are absolutely right, Doug. And we uh, actually have we have the southernmost vineyard in the Napa Valley, and and our exposure is quite unique in that, as you mentioned, from atop of one of our Pinot Noir vineyards, we can see the San Pablo Bay. But we are also um, near four different waterways here, the the Napa River, the Napa-Sonoma Marshes. And so as a result, we have quite a maritime influence, and particularly in the morning. Pinot Noir is known as a very finicky grape to grow, and, and uh, winemakers have said anyone can grow uh, Cabernet, but only a fool would grow Pinot Noir and uh, because it is so persnickety, and you do have to allow for it to stay on the vine long enough to ripen to full flavor uh, without burning. And that's why this maritime influence is particularly conducive to good Pinot Noir. Now, what it does for Chardonnay is allow Chardonnay, in a, in a very sort of simplistic description, uh, allow Chardonnay to hang on the vine a little bit longer and develop higher acids. And higher acids generally mean that you have a fresher, fruitier, long-lasting Chardonnay. So these are the two premier grapes in this in this particular region. Let's go back to the sustainable farming thing mm-hmm. here. And I'm, I'm, no, I'm looking at your website, which is bouchain.com, by the way, B-O-U-C-H-A-I-N-E.com. Um, uh, that you <clears throat> use a four coast, excuse me, four course compost. That's a, do you drink wine with this compost? It sounds, <laughs> sounds like a sounds like a very elaborate dinner to me. Well, actually, it, you know, it's a fantastic program that started in in San Francisco, and uh, quite ingeniously, instead of throwing uh, food scraps away, um, and this includes everything, but upscale restaurants, food scraps, um, actually are gathered, and they are uh, held at a, at a uh, North Coast uh, compost, uh, Nor- NorCal Waste, they're called, and um, they are, it's held long enough until it is composted, and in, in all respects, organic compost. So we buy uh, what they call four coarse compost, and that is used uh, obviously at the base of the vineyards in place of inorganic fertilizers. Uh, obviously, it's less toxic, but because it comes straight from a food source, it's more complex and it has sustained uh, nutrients that aren't available in what we know as commercial fertilizers. And we compost uh, once a year. Our viticulture team goes in and uh, applies this compost. It's also safer, all of these practices, uh, avoiding pesticides, avoiding uh, commercial or inorganic fertilizers, is much safer uh, to the human element involved, our, our labor force in the vineyards. 